Mom, I just got back from school. Hey, Elena. You're home later than usual. Did you have cooking club today? Yeah, we did. We made apple pie. Oh, that's wonderful. When I'm out of the hospital, you'll have to show me how to make them, all right? Okay, but when exactly are you getting out of the hospital? Is it tomorrow or the day after? I wish I knew, sweetie. I won't be out until the baby arrives. And the doctors think it might be this weekend. We'll have to wait and make sure everything is okay before I can leave. I understand. So you'll have to take a picture of your apple pie for me. Okay. I wish the hospital wasn't so far from home. I miss you, Mom. I miss you too, sweetheart. I'll be home as soon as I can. And I'll tell your dad to try and come home earlier tonight. I heard you've been eating alone. Why haven't Grandma and Dad been around much? Dad's been working late and Grandma is on another trip. Another trip? Well, who's making dinner tonight then? Dad left me some money and told me to get something from the store. All right. I'll message your dad and ask him to try and come home early. It's getting late, so make sure you get to the store and back before it gets dark. Okay? Okay. Isabel, I've been trying to reach Thomas, but it seems he's not responding. Could you ask him to check his phone once he gets home tonight, please? I've told you before. Don't call me Isabel. It's disrespectful. You're not my family. My son married you, not me. I apologize, Mrs. Reed. I'll be more cautious in the future. Good. And stop asking me to do things for you. Thomas has been swamped lately, and I don't know when he'll be home. I understand, but my contractions have started, and the doctor expects the baby to arrive tonight or early tomorrow. Let Thomas know that soon I won't be able to reach him. Why can't Elena do it? Eleanor is still in elementary school, and she'll be going to bed soon. Well, I plan to turn in early tonight too. I don't know when Thomas will be home. And I can stay up all night waiting for him. Besides, what good will it do to tell him? It won't make your contractions go away. Contact him after the baby is born. But this is Thomas's child about to be born. P please tell him. But we already know it's another girl, right? You don't need Thomas there. Besides, neither Thomas nor I have time to comfort you right now. That's what nurses are for. If you contacted him and he didn't reply, there's your answer. <sighs> Fine. I'll try again myself. You should have done that from the start. The world doesn't revolve around you. Try contacting him, but I doubt you'll get a reply. Oh well. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Is there a reason Thomas won't be coming home tonight? I wanted him here. And there's paperwork that needs to be done before they release me. Why not ask your parents for help? Oh, I shouldn't say parents, right? Your father passed away last month. I guess it's singular now. LOL. I'm sorry. I'll handle it myself. I won't bother you with it. Good, thank you. Ever since I moved in, You've cost us nothing but stress. I never asked you to move in with us. See, that's what I mean. Your attitude. You're not very friendly. You're always looking down on me. Living together for three years and you still don't treat me with respect? We'll have to reevaluate our living arrangements after the baby is born. Another thing to discuss with Thomas when I get out of the hospital. If Thomas listens... He's not even with you now, is he? I feel sorry for you. It's because he's busy with work. Sure, think that. Don't ask me for anything. It's annoying. Eleanor, where are you? Are your dad and grandma with you? If they are, can you tell them to contact me as soon as possible? Who is this? Huh? Eleanor, it's mommy. This is Eleanor, right? 
What's going on? You are not my mom anymore. I don't know who you are. What are you talking about? I just got home. The house is completely empty. You guys wouldn't have moved, would you? Yeah, we moved. We are in our new house. You moved? To a new house? What are you talking about? You're not my mom, so it doesn't matter to you. What? What do you mean? Why are you saying I'm not your mom? Why would you say that to me? Dad and Grandma said they left divorce papers by the front door. They said to hurry up and sign them. When you're done signing them, call Grandma. Divorce papers? What's going on? Eleanor, please let me talk to your dad. No, he said he doesn't want to talk to you. Dad and I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Eleanor, please. Eleanor, I love you. Please don't say that to your mom. You're being annoying. Grandma said she'll call you tomorrow. Make sure you sign the divorce papers before she calls. Mom, are you awake? I'm sorry. I said mean things to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Elena? Elena, is that really you? Are you okay? Are you safe? Yeah. I'm fine, but I said some really bad things to you this afternoon. It wasn't me. Grandma made me write those things. But why would she? She did it so you and Dad would divorce. And then she took my phone from me. But now, Grandma's asleep, so I snuck in and got my phone back. Oh, my Elena. I'm sorry, dear. It must have been really bad for you this past week or so. I didn't want to leave you by yourself. No, it's okay. But Dad and Grandma are acting strange. They're talking like you're a bad person. It's scaring me. Elena, do you know where you are right now? I'll come and get you. We just moved here yesterday, so I don't know the address, but it's a really big and really tall apartment building. You mean a high-rise condo? A high-rise condo? I don't know, but Dad said I won't be changing schools. Really? Hmm, okay. I'll pick you up after school tomorrow. I can see you again? Of course. I'll see you tomorrow. Just wait until then, okay? Okay. Oh, and Dad said he's marrying a new woman soon. A new woman? What does that mean? I don't know, but he said she's going to have a new baby soon, too. Are you sure he's not talking about your new little sister? I don't think he means my new sister. I didn't understand everything that Dad and Grandma were talking about, but they said the new baby that's coming is a boy. They said I'd have a new brother soon. Oh my gosh! Elena, I'm so sorry that all of this is happening. I'm coming to get you tomorrow. I promise. Then you and I can live together, okay? Okay. I want to be with you. Dad and Grandma aren't very nice. And I don't like this new place. I want to live with you, Mom. I want to be with you, too. I'm sorry all of this is happening to you. Even with everything that's going on, we'll be together again, starting tomorrow. You promise? I promise. Okay, I'll wait for you after school. Layla, did you sign those divorce papers yet? As soon as you do, message me. We have to discuss how you and Thomas will be splitting the assets, as well as custody of Elena and child support payments. I think normally those things are discussed before signing the divorce papers. Don't you think you're getting the order mixed up? The truth is, we don't want to drag out the process by arguing about all of that before the divorce is finalized. I don't think you're in any position to refuse any of our conditions anyway now, are you? That's why we want to discuss all of that with you after the divorce is finalized. Besides, you want us to give you Elena back, don't you? If you accept all of our conditions, Thomas promises not to dispute custody of Elena. Does he really think he'll get custody of Elena anyway? Well, they'll likely give custody of her to you, even if he disputes it. But. The longer it takes you to sign those papers and get the divorce over with, the longer it's going to be before you can see Elena again. LOL. We know 
how much you love your daughter. Do you really think you can go that long without her? So what's this all about, huh? Look, I'll divorce Thomas just like he wants, but I'm going to be getting everything. That includes the house, child support, and compensation money. Compensation money? What are you talking about? I'm going to be suing Thomas for cheating on me. It seems his little mistress is pregnant, isn't she? Cheating? Who did you hear something like that from? Eleanor told me all about it. And by the way, Eleanor is with me. She won't be going back to that place you two live in. You kidnapped Elena? You dirty little coward. Coward? Who exactly are you talking about? How dare you drag Eleanor into this just so you can hide behind her and use her as your bargaining chip? She's a child. But you know what? She's old enough to know what's going on. The fact that that girl would try to ruin my plans like this just proves that she's got your blood in her veins. I told her not to try to get in contact with you. I can't believe she defied me and went looking for her phone after I took it from her. That's so disrespectful. Look who's talking. You're the disrespectful one. I think you're mixing up the word disrespectful with clever or intelligent. There you go with that attitude again. You really aren't a very nice woman, are you? Whatever. If you divorce Thomas like he wants, we really can't complain. We were only holding on to Elena as a trump card in case we needed her. You have no objection to the divorce, do you? None at all. I have no feelings for Thomas anymore. He wouldn't even contact me while I was giving birth to our second daughter. And on top of that, he was cheating on me. There's no way to save this marriage now. He's a terrible person. Such a jerk. It's not that big of a deal. Besides, it's too hard to try and hide every little thing from her anyway. She's young. She'll forget about this anyway. Are you serious? Do you really think that kids don't suffer? A husband who cheats on his wife and a mother-in-law who thinks that what he's doing is okay. The two of you together make me sick. Saying that he's cheating is a little bit harsh. He's not cheating. He's just changing wives. And did you not hear? This new wife's child is going to be a boy. This new woman is so much better than you in every way. All you can give Thomas is girls. Not to mention, she's younger and shorter than you. She's so much cuter. Is that so? Well, I'm glad Thomas will have the wife you always wanted him to have. But no matter how you put it, he's cheating on me. So I'm suing him. All you talk about is money. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you pay you, will you be happy? Once he gets half of all your things, He'll be happy to pay whatever your little lawsuit amounts to. Do you know something about our assets that I don't? Well, the husband and wife share everything, right? Usually, everything gets split down the middle. 50-50, right? That's right. But ever since we got married, I've only been working part-time. I didn't make much money. So most of what I'll be getting will be from Thomas. We don't have as much savings as you think we do. What are you talking about? After your father died, you would have gotten a big inheritance from him. You must have gotten hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? I know your father had money. Even if Thomas only gets a hundred thousand from you after his compensation payments, he'll still have plenty of free money left over. Huh. Is that what you guys were thinking? What? What's so funny? Do you know how inheritance works? It doesn't mean that kids get all the money. My dad could give his money to anyone he wants. When my dad died, I didn't get his money. All of his stuff went to my mother. I didn't get a cent from him. He left everything to my mom. If both my parents have died, I would have gotten a large inheritance, but... Huh? What are you talking about? You're kidding, right? You just don't want us taking your money, so you're making up some crazy story. What I said is true. 
I never told Thomas I was getting an inheritance. Why would he assume I was? Are you saying he went off and had an affair? And then went ahead with this divorce without looking into anything first? Oh, he must be even more stupid than I thought. But Thomas said your dad's money would be yours. What an idiot. He never asked me about that. And who would think that anyway? You two are both stupid for creating this whole plan of yours without verifying anything. So like I said, I'll be suing Thomas for compensation money. I wonder if he started cheating on me when my dad died. Or if it's been going on for a while. And this new son is really his. I'll need to hire a private detective. Because the longer he's been doing it, the more money I can get from him. And I'll be talking to my lawyer about everything. Wait, hold on, Layla. Let's just calm down, okay? I think the only one not calm here is you. Huh? I can't believe Thomas wanted to use my dad's death as a way to get money from me. Just know that no matter what it takes, I'm going to be getting my money. Wait, let's just reconsider this whole divorce thing, shall we? This was Thomas' idea, not mine. I've always been against it. I never wanted him to divorce you. When I heard he had done this and his mistress was pregnant, I cried so hard. It was only after I got so tired of crying that we came up with this idea. Let me try talking to Thomas again. I think I can convince him to break up with his new girlfriend. No, I really don't care about Thomas anymore. I'm just fine going ahead with this divorce. You can't possibly think it's a good idea. Honestly, I knew something with Thomas had changed as soon as he found out I was pregnant. I just never thought he would cheat on me. After the baby was born, I was hoping everything would go back to the way it was. But honestly, the way Thomas has been treating me and his daughter is unforgivable. He's been acting like you. He's been acting like you. I think that's why it hurt me so much. Don't be so hasty. Don't give up on your marriage. A divorce isn't something that should be decided so quickly. Who was the one that told me to hurry up and sign the divorce papers? Isabel, don't tell me you're already starting to lose your memory. Oh, that could be it. That's probably why I've been saying strange things to you recently. Your brain seems to be working just fine. Layla, I'm sorry we were wrong to push this on you so quickly. I promise. I'll apologize to you. Please, just reconsider. It's too late for that. I've already submitted the divorce papers. You admitted to me that Thomas was cheating on me, so I made some adjustments to the documents before handing them in. Huh? Are you at City Hall right now? Yes, Thomas and I are officially divorced. I am not related to you or him anymore. Wait, what? Why would you hand them in so quickly? You just got out of the hospital yesterday. What about your new baby? My mum's looking after her right now. So what's your problem? Well, yeah. But I can't believe you did that without at least talking to Thomas first. How am I supposed to talk to Thomas if he runs away from me and won't return my calls or messages? Oh, and since Thomas has already signed the divorce papers, I filled in all the necessary information. The spot about our custody of the children was blank, so I filled that in. What? It's illegal to hand that in without our permission. Why is that? Thomas already signed the papers and gave them to me. And you told me to agree to it. You guys obviously wanted me to get this divorce, so everything's fine. If Thomas didn't like the changes I made to the documents, he shouldn't have signed them before talking with me. We didn't tell you to hand them in without our permission. I told you to contact me after you had signed the papers, didn't I? Well, if that's the case, Thomas probably shouldn't have signed them before giving them to me. Huh? I'm so glad. You two are stupid. It really helped me out. And you weren't hesitating about the divorce until you found out that I didn't get any inheritance from my dad. Anyways, thanks for giving me signed divorce papers and moving out of my house. It was a mistake. This whole thing was your idea, wasn't it? You probably told Thomas to move out right after the baby was born. And to leave the divorce papers for me, huh? Your entire plan was to leave me high and dry, wasn't it? That was never my intention. 
Oh, don't be modest with me. You lived with us for three years, so I know exactly what you're like. You've hated me ever since I married Thomas. And you've been either ignoring me or shunning me. You made Thomas do the same to me and Eleanor, didn't you? I've got it. You're right. It was all me. So, just leave me out of this and talk things over with Thomas, okay? I'm sure you've got a lot of things you want to talk to him about, don't you? I won't bother you anymore. Huh? There's nothing I want to talk to him about. Our assets, child support payments, and compensation money will all be dealt with through my lawyer. But what about the new baby's name? You haven't decided on one yet, have you? You two should get together and decide on a name and then correct the papers at City Hall. I'm sure Thomas has been thinking really hard of good names. Thomas? A man who only does what his mother says? Do you think I'd actually let him name my daughter? Besides, I'm sure he's probably thinking about names for his girlfriend's son. He hasn't bothered to return any of my calls or try to contact me in any way. After I went into labor, he moved out to be with his girlfriend, left me divorce papers, and still hasn't bothered to contact me once. Not to mention, all of that was done in an attempt to steal my father's inheritance from me. He's a horrible person, and I have no feelings for him whatsoever. Well, nothing good anyway. I don't think anyone in this situation would hesitate to go through with a divorce. But Layla, the truth is, this new condo that we moved into, it's really expensive. He only bought it because he thought he'd be getting half of your inheritance. And that's why I need you to do just one thing for us. What is it? Don't tell me you're going to ask me to help you out with that. I'm not going to ask you to help pay for it or anything. I just want you to consider our financial situation when calculating things during the divorce. I had to use all of my husband's leftover inheritance just for the down payment on this thing. In that case, you should probably sell the place and get a house that you can afford. You haven't sold your old house yet, right? You two can move back there. We can't do that. This new condo was chosen by Thomas' soon-to-be new wife. Well, that's great, isn't it? That means it has absolutely nothing to do with me. So tell Thomas he'll be hearing from my lawyer shortly. Have fun with everything. Layla, just, just wait. Don't abandon Thomas and me. We've known each other for so long, haven't we? After that, I got my lawyer to help me sue Thomas for compensation money. When I tried to sue Thomas's mistress for compensation money too, it became clear that Thomas had never told her that he was married. When she found out, she wasn't too happy. But none of that is my problem, so I'm not getting in the middle of it. After I got my share of the assets and compensation money from Thomas, I made sure to block them both. Right away, I told Eleanor that if she ever wanted to see her dad again, she was welcome to do so. However, if Thomas wants to talk to me, he'll have to do that through my lawyer. Actually, just the other day, my lawyer gave me a letter from Thomas. In the letter, he told me that since I had sued his girlfriend for compensation money as well, they weren't able to make payments on this loan for the condo. It also seems that Thomas's mother, Isabel, was kicked out of the condo because his girlfriend didn't like her. Isabel finally got the grandson she wanted, and Thomas kicked her out as soon as it happened. What a terrible set of people they are. As I got to the end of the letter, it was clear that he just wanted money from me and that he was trying to get me to take him back. When I realized that, I burned the letter and pretended like I never got it in the first place. It had nothing to do with him wanting to see Eleanor, so there was no reason for me to reply to it. He ignored me, even when I was giving birth to our second daughter, and he was cheating on me. I don't want anything to do with him ever again. My mother was looking after my new baby the whole time I was dealing with this divorce. I'm really grateful to her, and to Eleanor, for handling all this so well. But now I'm back, looking after my daughters, every day, and enjoying my life again. I'm not planning on relying on my parents' inheritance in the future. I plan on working from home and supporting myself. 
You never know what's going to happen in life. So I want to prepare for whatever the future may bring. Family means a lot to me. So I'm going to protect my daughters and make sure they don't have to go through something like that again. I just want them to be happy and as healthy as they can be.